sit at an airport, sit in a doctor's office, sit anywhere where children are waiting and watch what they do. They're either laying on their stomach with an iPad or an iPhone or they're like this. And the prevalence of what we refer to as a text neck and your head weighs eight to 10 pounds, hard to believe. It would be like ho holding a large um, bowling ball, for example, you can, you can hold it here and you could probably hold it here for five, 10, 15, 20 minutes, depending on your strength, maybe even longer. But even if you're really, really strong, how long could you hold a bowling ball out here? Depends on the level of your strength, but it's not long. It's probably 10% or less of how long you could hold it when you were here. So the same thing is happening when you get a reverse cervical curvature. When the curvature is reversed over a long period of time, it now leads to degeneration. And so now what we're seeing is so many of our kids are having health disorders as it relates to decreased activity, lower spinal tone, and too much audio-visual input, if you will. We're, we're being addicted, and people don't like that because they don't want to think they are. But if you're checking your cell phone multiple times throughout the day, if it's on your nightstand throughout the day, if you're checking in all the time, there's an addiction going on there. And right now, internet addiction in the United States rivals that of gambling. Spinal degeneration is very interesting because when people think of that, they think about, you know, what's on the inside deteriorating and you got to see it on an x-ray. The reality of it is, is you can see it in every child that is staring at their phone. You can see it in every person sitting at a desk. You can see it in people very clearly when you say, hey, Mary, turn around. And they go like this because they can't move their neck. So I see degeneration all the time and it's always in people that have a reverse neck curve, which is a product of what we call forward head posture. How many people do we see walking around like this every day? Like, look around you. It's all the time. What wasn't around 15 years ago when I opened my practice was the iPhone. But now every single kid is on a phone and they're looking down and there's all this extra weight of their head going towards the front of their spine and it's causing so much more extra, like extra force to that area which leads to degeneration. And they're starting to do research about how, what effect is that having on the brain? Well, they've already shown and it's kind of accepted that yes, it changes kind of how your motor response patterns are, um, but then it, it goes deeper than that. It's, okay, well that's starting to impact cognition. It's starting to impact um, depression. So in just changing your posture, so just, you know, sitting up straight, you know, even taking your phone from down here to up here, and kind of bringing your shoulders back like your mom told you to. Um, it's been shown to change um, memory. It's been shown to change uh, mood. They even relate it to kind of a, a stress resilience. So if you'll just change your posture, it really helps with even your resilience to a stressful situation. The chronic sitting and the chronic usage of phones that's going on in today's world, and the copious amounts of stress that people are under in today's world, I think it's going to take people out earlier. Listen, computers aren't going away, phones aren't going away, and sitting down isn't going away. And we have to do those things in order to live our life. And that's understood. So how do we combat that? We do that by utilizing things like chiropractic services from chiropractors who will take care of the spine, give specific spinal adjustments, have a great exam on the client so they can figure out exactly what's going on in that person and then give great treatment recommendations. We just need to know that we need to do more to take care of ourselves than our parents did. And we've got to take better, more proactive measures than what they were doing as well because our parents' generation were not sitting down for eight to 10 hours a day. They were not in front of computers all day and they were in front of phones all day. And so they didn't have to do as much.